Most of the time, we are duplicating so many widgets just for a little change. What could be the best possible way to get rid of these things? It's creating reusable widgets. It's always good practice to use reusable widgets for maintaining consistency throughout the app. When we are dealing with multiple projects, we don't like to write to each code multiple times. It will create duplication and in the end, if any issue comes we end up with a mess. So, the best way is to create a base widget and use it everywhere. You can modify it based on your requirement and another advantage is if any change comes then you need to do it in one place and it'll be reflected everywhere. Isn't it so cool? Now probably you have a question like how I can do this. So don't worry about it, today we will conjure on this topic. And don't worry about the code, I'll provide the code link in the description and pinned comment. So today we are going to create a login form in Flutter, using our reusable component. So in our login form there is going to two text form field and two buttons. So rather than creating these four different widgets, we will going to create only two widgets, and then we will use these two widgets inside our login form. And we will include this login form in our upcoming video, demonstrating the integration of Firebase into a Flutter app. If you're interested in watching that video, then please leave a comment for this. Additionally, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, our target is 10 likes, so your support is appreciated. So here I've opened my IDE, and here I'm having my default project. Now come here in directory structure, then here create a new folder as widgets. Then inside this directory create a Dart file as text form field component dot Dart. Then press enter. So, text form field is the basic widget used in our app. To create this, we need to create one stateful widget which requires some fields to be displayed on the UI. So here let's create a stateful widget as text form field component. Then here in this class, we need to add changeable or customizable parameters. Like hint text is going to different for all the text form fields. So let's define here all changeable parameters. So for our text form field, input type can be different for different text fields, like in some case if user want to enter mobile number, then we need to show only number pad. So here add a parameter for input type. Then our hint text can be different for different text form field. So here create a string parameter for the hint text. Then we need add obscure text thing. Because if user want to enter password then we need to hide it. Then the text editing controller for manipulation of text. Now create the constructor for this class. Now in our case. Providing hint text and text editing controller is mandatory. So here add the required keyword in front of them. Now come into this state class and come in this build method. So here first let's create a text form field. Then inside it, let's add decoration parameter, then input decoration, and now inside it pass the hint text as widget.hint text. Then the style for your hint if you want that thing. Now here add the parameter of obscure text, and pass this our obscure text value as widget.obscure text. Then same way add the controller for our text, then finally add the text input type. So in this text form field we have only made these four parameter as dynamic. But you can use any number of valid parameter for your particular use case. Now this was it for out text form field. Now again come here in this directory structure, and inside this widgets folder here create a new Dart file as buttons.dart. Then here create a stateless widget as button component. Then come up here, and here let's create our reusable parameters. So first thing first, our button needs to have a text, so here create a text parameter. And our this text needs a color, so create a text color parameter, then our button need to have a color. So here create a button color parameter. And finally we want to perform some action when tapped on this button, so here pass a void callback. We are passing a void callback because, when we tap on this button, the it's not returning anything, it's just performing some action, so that is why we have used void callback. Now here come in this build method, and here craft and container, and add here decoration parameter.
Then add box decoration widget then inside it pass the container color. Then here add the border radius as 10 for our container. Then here let's add child for our container, as of now we are using text widget, and inside text widget, pass our this button text parameter. And for text style here add the font size as 16, and you can also take the size of text size at runtime. Now add the text color for our text. Now wrap this container inside the gesture detector, then for on pressed method pass this callback. Now let's come on main.dart file, and here come on this my home page widget. And here inside this build method, and from here remove this container widget, and here add column widget, then for its children, let's first add text widget, and inside it add a greeting text message for our users as, welcome back, again. And then add the text style for this text. Then here add a sized box here for making some space between your widgets. Now here let's make use of our reusable text form field widget. So here add this field, then inside it pass the all required parameter, first add the hint text. This is our username text field, then here pass the hint text as username. Then add the keyboard type, this is our username text form field, so here add text input type dot name. Then pass the false value for obscure text, because this is not password field. Then finally we need to pass the text editing controller, so come up above here create a text editing controller as username controller. Then pass this controller to this widget. Now let's copy this widget and paste it down here, and change the parameter for this widget. This is password field, so here pass the hint text as password, then keep the keyboard type as it is, then and change the value of obscure text value as true. Then create a new text editing controller for password field, and pass this controller for this field. Now let's make use of our reusable button. So here make use of our button component widget, and inside it, pass the button text as login, button color as blue, text color as white. And for void callback, here add braces then inside it make a toast message which will say, successfully logged in. Now copy this button and paste it down here. Then change the text as sign up and change the button color to red, then change the callback's toast message into something else. So you can see we have successfully created a login FRM using our reusable widget. By using reusable widget we have minimized the use of creating new widgets every time, we have only created two different components, then we have used this widgets multiple time to create a login screen. So, this was it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding!